Hi, I hope you've been doing well this summer. We've been working hard in the libraries to upgrade and improve our systems. Stick with me for the next minute or two as I demonstrate some of the new features and functionalities we have available. On a basic level, we've cleaned up a few of the features on our library homepage. We have renamed the main search bar, library search on our homepage. And this will still search a variety of our articles, books, and other items. So now let's take a look at how the search will actually work. I'm gonna do a search for a particular book called Black Man in a White Coat, the story of an African-American doctor and his experiences with a race in the medical field. In this case, I get a yellow banner at the top reminding me to sign in. Signing in is the key to be able to get the fullest set of results and to be able to request items. When I click on the book without signing in, I can see that it's available in the stacks. However, to request it for click and pick up, I will need to use my EID and password, just like I do with logging into Canvas and other services. Once I sign in, then I have the additional options for request for pickup. And if for some reason this title was not available, I would also have the option for interlibrary loan. Request for pickup happens rather seamlessly. I have the option for pickup location, Rose or Carrier, or one of our other many sites. And if there's a deadline for when I needed the book by. In this case, no deadline for me. And I hit send requests. It was successfully placed. Excellent. Now, one thing I'll also note as faculty members, you may be recommending books for your students to read. In that case, you will want to use the permalink here as a way to permanently link your students back to these resources. These are new permalinks, so you will need to check existing links in your syllabi, in your Canvas course, and in other locations to make sure you have the most up-to-date resources. In another search for articles about health disparities related to the COVID pandemic, these are more commonly articles sent to such a newer topic. Articles will have available online as a way to indicate how to access these articles. Similar to books, they'll have the permalink options and like any other database, the option to email, print, and generate a citation. The key will be the Get JMU access features. The links down below will provide you a list of the databases where we have the full text available. One thing to always double check is the availability range for these topics. Clearly, this is current, so clicking on this particular link should take me to the full article. Since I've already logged in once using our authentication method, I don't need to log in a second time. Instead, it takes me directly to the article. And here I'll see PDF, where I can open the full text. In some of our other databases, we've also changed the icon for getting access to this more commonly found Get JMU Access button. You'll see this populate and help you find the full text across our many different databases, and if needed, referrals to interlibrary loan. I hope this helps give you an overview for the initial features and functions you may need. If you have questions, feel free to use the Ask the Library button to get avenues for various help. Send us a message for an email message if chat, this option down below is not available. If this is green and available, you can chat anyone at the libraries in real time to be able to answer your questions. If you have a more advanced question, you may also want to contact your liaison librarian. You can find our contact information down here. You can view us by liaison or by subject. I hope this helps and we look forward to supporting you with your information needs. Have a great day.